photosynthesis at the end of this session you will be able to describe photosynthesis identify the site of photosynthesis explain the mechanism of photosynthesis broadly including the light reaction and dark reaction we know plants are the source of food for other living beings however plants prepare their food by themselves by utilizing the natural resources from the surrounding plants absorb light from the sun inhale carbon dioxide from air and take up water from soil and transport it through straw like tubes called xylem from its roots to its leaves leaves convert all these resources into their food which is a carbohydrate in the form of glucose or sugar this self feeding or autotrophic mode of nutrition is possible in plants as plants have a special organelle called chloroplast which can convert light energy into chemical food energy by a process called as photosynthesis chloroplasts in leaves are said to be the site of photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which green plants are able to synthesize their food in presence of sunlight by taking carbon dioxide from the environment and water from the soil food is synthesized in the form of simple carbohydrates like glucose oxygen is released in this reaction the reactions occurring in photosynthesis are grouped into two main phases light reaction that requires light and called light dependent reaction and dark reaction which does not need light and called as light independent reaction however both the reactions require chloroplast and that's why it is necessary to study the chloroplast structure for understanding the photosynthesis reaction chloroplast is a green colored cell organelle with an outer membrane an inner membrane and aqueous fluid called stroma in stroma there are structures called as grana each granum is a sack of discs called thylakoids a thylakoid is a halo oval disc with a membrane that has special chemicals called pigments pigments are the chemicals which absorb light and different types of pigments absorb different wavelength of light from the spectrum thylakoid and the chloroplast has three types of pigments carotenes xanthophyll and chlorophyll though all the pigments absorb light chlorophylls are the most important as they can trap the maximum amount of light and additionally the light trapped by all other pigments is transferred to the chlorophyll each particle of light absorbed is called as photon a thylakoid has different complexes within it such as photosystem 1 with chlorophyll pigment and photosystem 2 with another chlorophyll pigment electron carrier system or ecs fnr ATP synthase etc light reaction chlorophyll present in the thylakoid membrane absorbs the light particle r photons which hits the leaves this light reaction starts photosynthesis the energy of photons <laughs> is transferred to the electrons in the chlorophyll the electrons reach high energy level and jump out from chlorophyll to the electron carrier system or ecs present in the thylakoid membrane to replace the lost electrons water molecule is split into hydrogen and oxygen releasing an electron and is given to chlorophyll the splitting of water and the presence of light energy is called as photolysis electrons from the ecs go to another chlorophyll complex 
where it is again charged by photons and jump to another carrier and finally to the fnr where it is accepted by nadp molecule and it becomes nadp h2 atp synthesis utilize h plus ions from the hydrolysis to combine adp and inorganic phosphate into atp molecule the atp and nadph2 molecules are the energy carriers as the energy released till now is trapped into these molecules the conversion of adp to atp and nadp to nadph2 repeats as a cycle and fuels the next part that is dark reaction the dark reaction occurs outside the thylakoid that is in the stroma region of the chloroplast dark reaction does not need light energy it uses the chemical energy from atp and nadph2 molecules using this chemical energy carbon dioxide molecules inhaled from the atmosphere are converted into glucose fixing the unused form of carbon in carbon dioxide and usable form of glucose is called as carbon fixation the glucose is converted into starch as a stored food for the long term use by the plants this is how chloroplast contribute for photosynthesis